Hello, 5 Minute Friday number 21, and this is a revisiting the very first 5 Minute Friday we did in which we set up uh, two length offsets using a method using a vernier height gauge and uh, a pair of angle plates. We're now doing it slightly differently. That old method was still valid, but it's a lot quicker doing it this new way. What I've done is um, put the 3D tester in the chuck. zeroed it out and then taken a the measurement between the spindle nose and a, a known machine surface after we've set it to zero. I've then measured that distance using gauge blocks so I've got an extremely accurate distance between the spindle nose and the surface of the material and that's been my surface um, zero and the tool length of the, uh, the Heimer touch probe. I keep that in tool zero in the tool table now and whenever we want to touch off a new tool, what all we do is we keep the control in tool zero, put in a new tool, touch it off the surface, just using the old uh, feeler gauge method, which is perfectly valid, and then we take that distance away from the original Heimer touch sensor value, and it's been really, really accurate. So I'm gonna take you through that process now, so we'll start off by machining the surface up. And all we're doing here is just giving ourselves a flat surface that's square to the machine to measure off. And it's a case there of just dataming it on the control. And to datum on our control, just in the, uh, the hand mode, and press Z and tell it that that's machine zero. So, I've got 3D touch probe in on tool zero. What I'm gonna do now with that zeroed up, um, I'm gonna compare it against the length of, um, that length of 177.561, which I got from measuring the touch probe uh, using the gauge block method between the workpiece and the spindle nose. So let's see how we get on. Let's make a change and we'll set up, say, a, um, we'll set up a, a reamer tool. Do a 10 milli reamer. There's a the tool. Um, we've got an unknown length at the moment, so we'll swap it out. We've got the right radius offset, but an incorrect length offset. So let's swap over. First of all, remember to take that up, because otherwise the drill bar doesn't work. We'll move it out of the way. Give ourselves plenty of space to take the tool out. So the control still thinks that it's got the 3D touch probe and that's a calibrated length. So all we're going to do now is we're going to touch onto that, um, that flat and square surface. And for the purpose of this video, I'm happy just using a little bit of paper um, to touch off. But really you should use a, um, a feeler gauge and then take the thickness of that off. Move down until it gets a bit of friction. And that's got it there, that's the thickness of the paper. Right, so it's time to look at the control. And we can see that there is a difference in height of minus 36.922. So it still thinks it's in the 3D touch probe mode. So what we need to do is go across to the, um, to the tool table. And we've got a 10 mil reamer. We need to take 177 off our original value. So that value, I'll make a note of that, that's 36.922. So tool table. For our value for our 10 mil reamer, you can hit the calculator button and type in the original 3D Touch Pro, which is a calibrated length, 177.561. And I can hit 
minus 36.922. Enter. It gives us a tool length of 140.639. Hit confirm value. And if I'd have had edit on, that would have worked. Let's try that again. Edits on. Um, calculated value. 140.639. Confirm value. And it's put it in the tool table there. And a quirk with the Heidenheim control is when you change a length offset, you've got to reload the tool. So even if I had uh, tool 5 loaded, I'd still have to reload it to register the new tool length offset. So let's load a new tool now. Uh, to do that, I'm going to go to MDI mode. Um, it was tool 5, I think, so we'll edit that. And to say tool 5. Tool call 5. And run it. Retract the spindle. Unclamp. Well, the tool's already in there. And it's loaded the 5mm reamer. So, in theory, if I go back to hand wheel mode, it's 45mm above the job. If I, I'm going to be brave, I'm going to take it down to 0.1 above and let's see if there's uh, any space because that should be bang on. So we've calibrated the length, so if I move this down to zero, zero on the control, it should give us um, a nice grip on that paper. I'll take the rest of the way by the hand wheel. And we're approaching zero now. That's bang on. And it's got just a grip on the paper, which is absolutely perfect. So that's a much quicker way of setting up the tool offsets. So there's another much quicker way of zeroing the tools off. On most controls, there is actually a button that you can press calibrate or measure, and it'll just automatically calculate the tool offset. If there is one in the hide and hide, I certainly don't know where it is. I suspect it might be under the touch probe functions, but um, I haven't yet worked out how to do that. So this is the nearest we can get, but it's not that much effort. All we need to do is remember to hit the calculate button and uh, confirm the value and it works it out automatically anyway. So again, much quicker than our original method shown in um, Five Minute Friday number one. And that'll be a great help, hopefully, certainly to our students and any other hide and hide users out there. So if you like these videos, like, subscribe and comment and we'll see you next time.